Hello lacrosse friends, welcome to Arena Lacrosse League action from the Millbrook Community Center. Brett Coons has pulled away the first face-off win for the Peterborough Timbermen who come into the game at five and four. They're the only team that's only played nine games in the league this year. Everyone else 10 or in one case 11. They are facing the visiting Whitby Steelhawks who sit at eight and two tied for first in the league. That's Liam Osborne with the ball to start. Back to our attempt and the first chance for Jeff Fernandez it's turned aside by the starting goaltender, Troy Benedict. And Peterborough heading down to the other end, Parker Sands. He'll get a shot off at Lucas Coote, and Coote makes the first save he faces. And we've got an illegal substitution already against Whippy, 30 seconds in. Peterborough enters the game with 114 goals for. That's 12.7 per game. Whippy has scored 135. That's 13.5 per game. So about a... Just under a goal differential. The big difference is on the goals against where Whippy has given up 94, just 9.4 per game, or Peterborough has given up 106, 11.8. So almost two and a half goals per game more. See if Peterborough can close the gap a bit. Whippy looking to clinch a top two seed. Von Harris with the rip from the outside. He arrived fairly late. It's a long drive for some of the players coming from up Akrasasne Way. Ball will be turned over and the Timberman will start with possession. And going back to the power play, Ty Thompson down to Skylar Thomas. He's watched by Mark Farthing, Corey Upshaw is out there as well. Matt Marinier checking up on Vaughn Harris. And the ball comes straight out to Ty Thompson, but he's turned aside. Nathan Emery is the other penalty killer down low. He was on Aaron Woods. That's Harris up to Joel Matthews who rips one over the top. Stopped by Coot, another save by Coot. He pounces on the rebound. Farthing blasts across center, runs through the check from Matthews, runs through another check from Thomas, hands it off to Dylan Hutchison. Hutchison among the leading scorers as Whippy has four players in the top eight in the league in scoring. Hutchison one of them. Tries to feed it to Cam Milligan, doesn't get through. They're in the final few seconds of the shot clock anyway, and Tyler Armstrong will take the ball for the Timberman. Peter Burr still has some time on the man advantage. Woods up to Matthews. Now Joe Hall as they go strong left this time. That's saved by Coot. He gets the ball. Outlet pass is a bit high for Marinier, which is pretty high. He's one of the bigger guys in the league. There's another one of them, Joel Matthews. They into each other's faces a bit. Troy Benedict has the ball. And he's going to throw it away on the attempt to pass. And it's going to go all the way down to Lucas Coot. Whippy has killed the penalty, and they get possession. Clint Lewis, or sorry, Zach Ursu going for a run. Everything opens up, then they come to him, and Liam Osborne, maybe the most dangerous steel hawk down low, gets there and bangs that one home. Mike Byrne and Brett Coons back at the dot for the faceoff. Byrne joining the steel hawks. Hasn't played a lot this year, that one pops out, and Coons comes away with it and fights through traffic, gets it over center, shoves it ahead to Zach Thompson. Great play by Coons. He is having a solid year for Peterborough. And they're going to set up on offense. Vaughn Harris waiting for his cohort to come out. They're three on five right now. He finds Thomas. Skyler Thomas off the post. Nathan Emery was thinking about trying to chase that down. Curtis Conley, sorry. Now, Coot gets as Peterborough turns the ball over again. Conley's up the floor. Byrne has a look. A couple of Kufla guys right there with... Burn a Western Mustang, Conley a Trent Excalibur. There's Hutchison, also actually a Queens Gale. Big time Kufla presence here. Troy Benedict makes that stop. Outlet pass, finds Matthews, gets across center. Looks at Joe Hall, but the lane wasn't there. He just holds on to it, shovels it across to Mitchell Jeffroy. Thompson down to Thomas. I'm sorry, Shane Francis, four lefties out for Peterborough. Joe Hall, the fourth one to touch it, gets it over to Matthews, isolated on C.J. Fleming. A little sidearm rip, that's wide. They've got three on the shot clock, Farthing grabs it, looks ahead to Mitch Ogilvy. There's Osborne, the goal scorer. 
So we're just over four minutes into the first quarter. I'm Steven Stamp. This is Arena Lacrosse League from Cabin. And Dylan Hutchison saw something he liked, and you can see why he loads it up and finds a spot from downtown. Ursu out to take this draw and gets it away cleanly for Whippy. They'll get possession after taking that two to nothing lead. Oh, so I, thought, I think we might see Ogilvy at some point take some draws. He's a premier faceoff man for Guelph. Actually, is he taking faceoffs? Yeah, maybe he's not. Maybe he's just playing attack. There's Hutchison taking it from Cam Milligan. Spins around the pick from Todd Greer. That's knocked down. Parker Sands almost had himself a breakaway. He's going to look for somebody coming off the bench. It's Thompson's with him. Feeds it down and he's going to stay. Vaughn Harris goes to get it. Thompson's going to set a pick en route to the bench. The handoff to Woods. He flips it over to Thomas. Harris. Trying to get around Curtis Conley. Nice defense. Marinier takes a swat. And somehow Harris spun and got the shot off. But Coot was alert. Travis the Bolts takes possession for Whippy, former Timberman. That pass doesn't connect with Fernandez, and Peterborough's got possession, but they're going to give it up as the pass didn't connect with Armstrong. Here comes Byrne into the offensive zone. He'll hand it off and go to the bench. Osborne. One-on-one -on -one with Geddes. Gets by him. Throws it to Fernandez. Down by his shins, though. Couldn't be caught. Armstrong comes away. Rumbles up the floor. Oh, the pass is tipped. It's picked off by Byrne. The man who tipped it, Osborne, is trailing, as is Rowan Kelly. The shot, hard one by Byrne, turned aside by Benedict. Great positioning there by Joel Matthews in the defensive end. Joe Hall, low pass, but Shane Francis manages to corral it. Francis staying for another offensive shift. Vaughn Harris loading up, passes it inside to Skyler Thomas. Thomas ready to shoot before he quite caught the ball. Here it comes the other way to Ursu. Ursu set up Osborne for the game's first goal. Hands it off to Fernandez. There's Hutchison. Cam Milligan leading the team with 62 points. He's third in the league in assists with 39 and fourth in points. He also added 23 goals. There's a save by Coot on Justin Bragg who's been very effective in transition for the Timberman this year. Greer. Osborne on the run, nobody getting him now, he's picked up. Bragg came to meet him, he Milligan bang. Outside shot from Greer, didn't get through. Milligan gets it back, whips one across to Greer. He's gonna try and get a shot for reset. He gets the shot, but it's swallowed up by Troy Benedict. Ty Thompson, head to Jeff Roy. He's watched by Upshaw. Outside shot by Harris, misses, comes out to Woods though. Is that in? No. We have a violation against Peterborough and Whippy will get it and they push the pace. Conley took his eye off the ball, but gets it back, tries a bounce shot. Rebound comes straight back to him, but he's bumped into the boards by Cam Crow. Yeah. We have a violation in the Peterborough end, and we will take our media timeout. 7.22 to go in the first quarter. Whippy has possession. Cole McWilliams starts, gives it off to Fernandez, and gets it back. Carter Badur up at the top of the defense for Peterborough. There's a twister by Osborne, gets his own rebound. I thought he might have gone through the crease, but the refs are right there. Today's officials, Shane Withers, Mike Sullivan, and Matt Chamois. Here's Parker Sands on the run. Osborne all over him, getting up under the shirt, <laughs> under the elbow, sorry. That pass is gonna go over center, and Osborne almost has a break. Sands on him, gets a shot off, saved by Benedict. Rebound pops out to Francis, and we got a penalty behind the play. Up top to Hutchison, manning the top of the Whippy power play. Fernandez steps in, shoots, saved by Benedict. Pops out to Cody McMahon returning to the club. 
McMahon, who started off the season very well and then had an injury, had an ankle injury, and it's taken a while to come back. He's forgotten how to get his jersey down, but not forgetting how to shoot as Cam Milligan goes low to high and rips one to the far top corner. Byrne and Coons lining up for the draw. Whippy's still sorting out something on their bench. Well, we're good to go. Ball is down. Sticks are set. Coons pops it out. He's going to go after it. I think Marini will get there first. Fights off Coons. Hard working forecheck. Marini faces a little underhand pass and will eventually get the ball to Liam Osborne. Eight up 10 seconds of Whippy's possession though. Fernandez back to Milligan. Minute and a half left on the power play. And Milligan bounces one through. I think it was Tyler Armstrong took the second penalty. Mitchell Jeffroy comes out to take the draw against Zach Ursu. Bit of a change up. <laughs> Quite a clamp by Jeffroy, but wasn't able to come away with the ball. Parker Sands does get it. Ursu spins away from traffic, hands it off to McMahon just over center. Put him in a bit of a tough spot as he had to bend down to get it, but McMahon avoids the traffic, hands it off to Hutchison. McWilliams cuts to the middle around the screen, shoots, scores. Floats one in from the top of the formation, it's four nothing. Peterborough has made a goaltending change as Troy Benedict is off to the bench. Marco Selleck has come in, Whippy will get possession as Lucas Coote races out to the corner to get their first, hands it off to Marinier, who threads one through and Rowan Kelly's on the run. There's a cut through the middle. They can't quite connect with Milligan. Peterborough's gonna come away with it, pass ahead. That's behind Bedour. He's racing after it. Knocks over his man, but Lucas Coote goes and gets it. Here's Osborne. McMahon to Osborne, he's trying to cut through the middle. He's banged aside by Armstrong. Nice defensive slide there by Armstrong. Skyler Thomas takes it over center. Speedrow trying to get on the board. Matthews over the top. Fleming right out on him. Hands it off to Harris trying to go one on two. Into Matthews. Nice save, Lucas Kooten just catches it in the cuff of the glove, calmly drops it to Mitch Ogilvy. Oh, there's a run into the boards. Coons and Ursu. Coons clamps, tries to shovel it ahead. Hamley getting in after it. Peterborough comes away with it. Nice work in there. Todd Chapman handed it off. He'll go to the bench for a change. They get the ball in the near boards here to Ty Thompson. He's joined by Jeff Roy on the left side. Penalty coming out front as Zach Thompson was flattened. A little bit of a tangle behind between Nathan Emery and Aaron Woods. So oh, another check from behind call. C.J. Fleming going to the box. And Peterborough, ideal chance to try and crack that goose I can get on the board. Harris at the top as they go strong right. Joe Hall and Skylar Thomas, the lefties. Aaron Woods is down low, now he inverts. With Matthews, shot from the outside is blocked. Matthews gets it back, but then Farthing grabs it, takes a swat, and that's gonna be a penalty to Peterborough. Vaughn Harris and a delay of game as well. Cam Milligan will start up top. Obviously two righties, two lefties. Osborne the other righty. Fernandez and Hutchison the lefties. Coons at the top of the penalty kill. 
Armstrong and Sands down low. No, Bragg, Justin Bragg. Hutchison. Lost control of it. Armstrong runs in, but Fernandez gets the ball. Milligan. Oh, had Selleck moving the wrong way, but Selleck just got the arm on it. Milligan to Hutchison. His shot's blocked by Tyler Armstrong. Fernandez gets the ball back. Weaves through traffic, shoots over the top. It's going to land on the back of the mesh. Bragg with a little pressure, calmly throws it ahead to Woods, but Woods, I think, just took his eye off it. That looked like a pretty good spot. That's going to be Peterborough ball as it gets up out of the out of play off the stick of, of uh, Curtis Conley. Conley runs out to get Skylar Thomas. Here's some help from Ogilvy, and they've got a three-on-one developing. Ogilvy wisely goes to the bench. Now it actually becomes a one-on-two as Whippy's going to set up their power play. Still 47 seconds in the four-on-three. Then they'll actually go to five-on-three if they haven't scored yet. Skip pass attempt. And Fernandez lost it. They're going to have a loose ball violation on Whippy. So Peterborough's going to be able to kill some time here. Hand it off to Hall. He's got Jeff Roy with him. Woods fell down, gets back up. Hall fakes the behind the back pass. We've seen him score with that. Now he's going to just let one rip from the outside. And it's a fresh 30 for the Timberman. Double team along the boards. They're digging in there. Did he come out of there? Holy cow. Mitchell Jeffroy did drop the ball momentarily. Gets it back, shoots. Just missed, did a touch. No, it's wide. So it's going to be up out of play, and that will be whippy possession. They're five on three, but only for another eight seconds. Fernandez takes it. I don't think they're not even going to get five guys out there and set up. Penalties expire. Two defenders come out. They go back door. Hutchinson misses it. Carter Bedore has it. Eating up turf. Has the trailer brag. Nice pass. Twister saved by Coot. Boy, Lucas Coot's been sharp because that was a good chance for Bragg. Nice play by Carter Bedore. He's been very impressive in the games he's played with Peterborough this year. Marinier. Hands it off to Rowan, no. Liam Osborne. Hutchison. Going for the two for one. I was wondering why he shot that. There's 45 seconds left. Didn't really work out because Whippy got the ball back. Now they're gonna send a fifth attacker out. 37 on the game clock. 18 now on the shot clock. Osborne. Fernandez, that's gonna get up out of play. And it'll be Peterborough possession with 27 seconds left, so they can pull Selleck and get an extra attacker out. Yeah, he makes his way to the bench. Oh, not yet. Now they're bringing him. Joe Hall will be the sixth attacker, making it three rights and three lefts. Harris watched by Upshaw. Oh. Harris gets that shot off, and they're going to get another chance with eight seconds left. Bit of a risky shot. Gets away from him. Matthews has it. They've got three to shoot. He gets one on net, but Coot had no trouble. And we will go to the first quarter intermission, the end of the first quarter, with the score, Whitby 6, Peterborough nothing. I'm Steven Stamp. This is Arena Lacrosse League action. Coons and Byrne lining up for the faceoff to get the second quarter underway. Ball kind of left behind them. Byrne gets a swat in the head, but he came away with it. But ball rolls loose. Vaughn Harris has it. That's a holding call coming on Curtis Conley. And Harris is calling for the goalie to come. Oh, he's going to go to the net. Shoot, scores. Oh, crease violation. Beautiful play by Vaughn Harris. But I thought he was pretty clearly in the crease. Mike Sullivan right in position. What a lovely play by Vaughn Harris. Doesn't count in a goal, but they will, of course, go to the power play. Joe Hall is going to start at the top as we're going to have a left strong setup for Peterborough. Skylar Thomas up at the shooter spot. Ty Thompson low. The righties, Von Harris and Joel Matthews. Marinier and Upshot at the top. Farthing and Rowan Kelly at the bottom for Whitby on the penalty kill. There's Hall. Pushes over. Harris hits the cutting. Thomas, oh, nice shot. Bounces through off of Lucas Coote. And Peterborough has themselves their first goal of the game. It comes on the power play. That gives Thomas 30 points with eight goals and 22 assists on the season. 
Aaron Woods leading the Timberwolves with 43 points. There's a save by Marco Selleck on the shot. Off the faceoff by Nathan Emery. Interesting that four Steelhawks have more points than Aaron Woods, the Peterborough leader. That's Cam Milligan with 62. Jeff Fernandez with 47. Dylan Hutchinson, Liam Osborne, 46 each. And Vaughn Harris is doing what he can to bring a Peterborough back. Lovely play there. Face-off violation on Brett Coons. So Whippy will get possession. Rowan Kelly starts with it. So two goals in the first minute of the second quarter. And Peterborough pulled within four. See if they can keep some momentum going. Not for long. The Steelhawks right off the draw. Set up and a little outside shot. Finds its way through. It's seven to two, Whippy. Coons and Byrne down for the draw. Burns stick has to be adjusted back a little. He still gets down on the ball pretty well. Coons and him battling for it. Is Byrne pulling it out? Too many steps. He knows it. And he actually bounced the ball away. Got a bit of a break. <laughs> Tell you, Dylan Hutchinson is seeing something the last couple of weeks because he's been shooting from outside, like way outside. That time from rather restraining lane on his offside. Just finding spots that he likes. Outlet pass to Mourinho, he's trying to get across center, he does. It's three on one for Whippy. Milligan cuts through traffic, shoots, crease violation. Selleck made the save anyway. Thomas will take the ball. Oh, Peterborough's got seven runners on the floor. They bring him back and get a do over and here they go, setting up in the offense. Thomas. Out to Geddes. Sorry, Jeff Roy. Woods trying to duck underneath. Nice defensive move. Let me check who that is. I think it's Nathan Emery with the play. It's a slashing call coming to Mitch Ogilvy. Pinrose goes strong left again with Hall back at the top. Same lineup, except they have uh, Aaron Woods down at the back door, shooting right there. He took Matthews' spot and got a chance right away. Renier and Upshaw, Farthing and Kelly once again for Whippy on the penalty kill. Hall, they give him some room so he rips it. It's off the post so it will not be an over and back. They'll get a fresh 30 when they track the ball down. Still tons of time on the power play. Hall tosses ahead to Thomas. Hall's gonna go to the bench and they'll send Ty Thompson up to the top of the formation. And he'll shoot off the foot of Coot. It's up out of play, fresh 30 Peterborough. 117 left on the power play. Thomas to Thompson. Skyler Thomas, hard, low shot, but Coot another save. Behind the back, Thompson's gonna rip one, or Jeff Roy, sorry. Coot stops it, grabs the ball. He's gonna make the outlet pass. Oh, what a, no, nobody was there. I think Marinier thought it wasn't coming, so he peeled off. Corey Upshaw's through the crease. They don't call it, but it's handed away. Oh. Eventually, Von Harris will get it. He's got Woods trailing, ducks underneath Farthing. Great defensive play by Farthing. Woods, a little pick, but Farthing stays with Harris. Mark Farthing has reinvented himself as a shutdown D guy and has done a great job of it. He used to be a transition type player. Then back with the old Durham Turf Dogs. Led them to a Creators Cup title. Peterborough's gonna get it back. It's momentous because they have 38 seconds left on the power play. Thompson starts with the ball. They've got four lefties, so Hall goes to the bench to get Woods out. Heads up play by the veteran Hall. He gets a tap on the back for that one. Matthews back to Thompson. Hard low shot again. Stopped by Coot, though. He's seeing everything and stopping most of it. Farthing looking for the outlet. Nothing really there. So he's going to pull it down and just step across center. Huh. Got the one white shooter string. Interesting. Must be a customization there. A little shovel pass to Milligan. Oh, great toe drag McMahon. Saved by Selleck. And it's in his pads. Outlet pass to Carter Badur. 
Back to even strength as we're four minutes into the second quarter. Seven to two, Whippy leads Peterborough. I'm Steven Stamp, this is Arena Lacrosse League action. Oh, nice pass to the cutting Thompson, but I think CJ Fleming just got on the lower hand. Jostled the stick and kept the ball from getting collected. Peterborough is still trying to come up with it. Pops loose again with the hard checking by Conley. It creates a breakaway. Starts wide. Shoots, scores. Beautiful bounce shot by Conley. Shoots on his off stride and pops one inside the far post. Ursu and Kuhn. Somebody had a violation. It was Kuhn, so Whippy will get it. Nathan Emery will start with the ball. The bolts. Curtis Conley. Four the, oh, here's Hutchinson in the net. So, near side shot stopped by Selleck. Peterborough going the other way. Coons rumbling up the floor. He's got Sands with him. Shoots, scores. Nice play, Brett Coons. End to end, and puts it in at the end. Coons and Burn. Burn. Wimpy wanted a penalty there as Coons swatted Burn after he took the face off. Coons back on D. <laughs> Burn and Coons getting into it. Coons loses his stick, gives him a shot. I thought they were actually being a bit friendly for a bit, then things took a turn for the worse. Hutchison with it. He can shoot from there. Hands it off to McMahon. Oh, Hutchison was in the middle. He went up to the top to Milligan and sends the bolts with the cross check to the face of the Peterborough player, and then a punch, and that's not dissimilar. Oh, and now the face mask grab, and Zabolts is gonna be out of here, as he's going after Coons, ripped the face mask off. That's at least a game misconduct, I would say, for Zabolts. Coons heads to the bench, and they're gonna have to reconstruct his helmet. Or maybe you can borrow one from somebody. Time of the penalty, okay, so Travis Zabolt's going off on Brett Coons has earned a five minute face masking penalty and a five minute match penalty. So that means 10 minutes of power play time for Peterborough. If that doesn't give him a chance to get back in, oh, and the pass to Farthing gets through. Matthews kind of rides him for a couple of steps, but he fights through it, pass to Kelly. Sorry, Osborne, oh, what a save, Marco Sellis. Selleck flashes the stick. Wait, great save, and gets it ahead to Woods. Fawn Harris is saying, slow down, let's set up. So with the match penalty, you can actually score three goals on before the player's released. The major, you can get two, so they could get up to five goals on this 10 minute penalty. Here's Harris, low to high, that's off coot, up out of play, fresh 30 for the Timberman. Harris. Fakes, now gives it to Thomas. He's gonna shoot, that's blocked by Farthing. Same penalty kill unit for Whippy. They're gonna have to send somebody else out there if they're gonna be short for 10 minutes. Oh, a dunk attempt by Matthews. Actually knocked the stick and glove right out of the hand to Lucas Coote. Didn't get the goal though, now Marinier and Woods getting into it. Woods wound up, he looked like he was gonna go with the one hand slash, opted against it. Clinton Lewis serving the 10 minutes in penalty time for Zabolts, who we won't see for a few games. The match comes with an automatic one game suspension. I'd imagine he might get more. There's a penalty coming to Peterborough and that's gonna negate the next two minutes of this man advantage. That's Greg Riley, I believe, taking it. Sands and Bragg at the top. That is just a breakaway waiting to happen. Badur and Armstrong down low. Fernandez from the near side, stopped by Selleck. Hands it off to Bragg. Hull, Hull coming off the bench, oh what a pick off. And then the fancy feet to avoid stepping in the crease. Great play by Cody Hamley. Now he's running the floor. Hands it off and goes to the bench. I think Hutchinson should shoot right now and get Cody Hamley an assist. He deserves it after that play. Now nah, there it goes, Milligan has it. Ball pops loose, here's Bragg. He's got Padura with him. Chapman races to the bench to get a haul out. Bragg with the shot. And that's gotta be a holding the stick call. And they'd have to decide who takes it. Boy, Von Harris is a pretty good pick. Joe Hall, down to Thomas. 
Vaughn Harris trying to slip into the back area, but nice rotation by the Whippy defenders. It's Upshaw, Marinier, and Byrne. And that's going to be a delay game to Vaughn Harris. These are just some odd decisions being made. And Vaughn Harris is going to act like he doesn't know why he's getting a penalty, but he knows exactly why. And we'll go three on three, and anybody will get a penalty shot for another penalty. And we'll go to the media timeout with a ton of penalty time to come and another 7-12 to go in the first half. 8-3, Whippy. All right, we're three on three. Let me try and figure this out. In 56 seconds, a Peterborough penalty will end, the Riley check. So that'll make it four on three for Peterborough. And then a minute 43 from now, a Whippy penalty will end. We'll go to four on four. Then the Harris penalty will end. And will be back to five on four for Peterborough. Assuming nobody else takes any penalties, which is not a safe assumption the way this is going. Here's Todd Greer. Nice trail check by Tyler Armstrong. Boy, he's an impressive young player. Pretty robust looking fella, but he moves. Oh, that just gets away from Jeffroy. Francis tracks it down. Lob pass up, gets to Zach Thompson. Thomas taking his time. Cam Milligan caught out as one of the three defenders. We'll see if they try to take advantage. Thompson backing down his man. Milligan actually comes to the double team and gets the strip. It's a pretty good defensive shift by Cam Milligan. Not his usual spot, but he did okay. McMahon hands it off to McWilliams. He'll get it to Fernandez. I'll tell you, both teams, it's, it's now actually it's four and three Peterborough. So I was going to say both teams being... Pretty tentative with the three on three, but Whippy is actually short. That's close to another penalty with the hold and the pitchfork by Woods. Is it gonna go over and back? It will. Oh, and that's a breakaway for Woods. Aaron Woods is deadly and scores. Oh, they call it crease violation. And Joe Sullivan's looking for a red flag to throw. Does not have one. So we will go back the other way. What a play by Woods. It's a good effort by Matt Marinier to try and save the ball, but then he just drifted to the boards and didn't run back to the center to take away the breakaway chance. And Woods goes down and buries, but apparently stepped in the crease just before that. Osborne, six on the shot clock. Tries to go back to the cut to Fernandez, doesn't connect. Beatty. Beatty's gonna take the outlet pass. Fedora will slow things down. As Peter is now going to the power play, Vaughn Harris steps out of the box, joins the man advantage unit. Peter is getting their five guys out there, three righties. Woods in the middle, setting picks. Matthews up to Harris. Skyler Thomas to Woods. Shoots near side, Coot had it. Not sure Coot ever left his, his post there. Upshaw runs into the offensive zone, spies around him. Peterborough's killed the, or Whippy has killed the first five minutes. I don't know if you can call it killing when there's a bunch of other penalties. But they're five minutes in to the 10 minutes of penalties to Travis the Bolts. Coot grabs it, penalty coming now. Illegal substitution to Peterborough. 4.49 to go on. Now, I'm actually very curious. I'm not sure which goes first, the match or the major. So again, if it was the major that's ticked off, then Peterborough could still, in theory, score three goals because it's the match. If it's the match that has expired, then they can only get two on the major. So we'll sort that one out. Or not. There's a pass through to McMahon. Nice save, Selleck. Coons almost had it. Gets away from him. He didn't know where it was. And great job. Opportunistic by Mike Byrne to zip in. Passes it off. Looks for the give and go, but he's picked up. So they go to the trailer. Cole McWilliams got a nice shot off, but it's stopped by Selleck. Minute and a half in the four on four. McWilliams over the top. Osborne rolled down, watched nicely by Chapman. Oh, Jeff Fernandez gets Selleck off his post and slips one in there. 9-3, Whippy goes up. Coons and Byrne. Once again, Byrne wins it. He's got a two on one. Passes across. Oh, what a play off the faceoff. Liam Osborne with another one. Whip.
Whippy gets possession. And Mourinho is going to look for someone on the offensive end. Hands it off to Milligan. Milligan backpedaling the near center. Here's Hutchinson on the near side. Little pick, there's the roll. Oh, the pass was right there. Just slid off Osborne's stick. Lovely pass by Milligan. Long outlet pass. Somehow gets through to Joe Hall. He scores. What a pass by Zach Thompson. And then the great catch and finish by Joe Hall. And Peterborough, just like that, has their fourth goal. Zach Ursu comes out for Whippy for the draw. He and Coons battling. Emery tried to grab it, but it's Parker Sands gets it. He's got Tyler Armstrong with him. Armstrong wanted a chance to let it rip. Farthing leaves Armstrong on the crease to go out after Jeff Roy. Jeff Roy definitely the more dangerous guy. But Whippy gets the ball anyway, and here comes Corey Upshaw. Takes a little one-hand swat there. Oh, penalty coming to Greg Riley for that chop. And for the second time in Peterborough's 10-minute power play situation, Whippy will actually go to the man advantage in the four on three. They'll only have 14 seconds to work with. Illegal body check actually was the call, and it's on Tyler Armstrong, so there wasn't a penalty on the slash. It's just a body check. So four on three for Whitby. Osborne over to Fernandez. That's Hutchison. Milligan's on the back door, pointing up high. Hutchison, I think that was a shot. Turns into a pass off the boards to former teammate Parker Sands. Sands pushed down, and Hutchison comes up with the ball. Whitby's going to get it back. Okay, we're back to four on four. Nope. Oh, wait a second. Yeah, we are back to four on four. Peterborough was just slow to get a fourth guy out. Osborne misses the net. Hutchinson will track it down. 15 left for Rippy to shoot. Hutchinson's going for a change, and that'll get Milligan out. They've got three righties and the lefty, but they turn it over. Joe Wasson spins off the check. Nice pass ahead to Thompson. We've seen what Thompson can do with the ball. He's the one who set up Hall with that lovely floor-length pass. Now he's just going to leave it. The shortest pass you'll see to Vaughn Harris. Over to Jeff Roy. Ty Thompson just had a wide open lane to the net. Races in but can't bury the shot. Sidearm ripped by Milligan. Kelly trying to grab that ball. Couldn't get it. Conley has it. Fresh 30 for Whippy. We stay four on four. A couple of Steel Hawks changing to get the offensive guys out. And Greer is taking a wide circle around to the offensive zone. Feeds it through. Great pick and roll by McMahon, but he's stopped by the post. There's the pass from Badur. Head to Chapman. Oh, just missed the near side. It's his near side, our far side. Badur has it, backing away, watched by Osborne. Badur dancing. Pass gets through to Matthews. Almost got away from him. He rolled out to near center. We're into the final minute of the half. Ten seconds left on the Peter Rowe penalty. Harris with the shot, they get a fresh 30 as it goes up out of playoff Coot. So they're gonna go to the power play. Armstrong is ready, he's gonna jump over the boards. No, he's coming down, I thought he was standing up. Three seconds, he'll be out. And they'll send Joe Hall to join the offense for the power play. People are trying to creep back within five goals. Hall with lots of time, did that go off Coot? Doesn't matter, it's out to Osborne, he's got Mourinho ahead. Now he's ahead, nice wheels. Oh, what a, oh, it's off the post. Osborne, no, he missed the net. Great hustle by Jeff Roy half back after him to get a bit of a trail check. Penalty coming now to Whitby. Matthews shoots. That's up out of play, 33 left on the Peterborough, the Whitby penalty, 15.4 in the half. Selleck's going to stay there. He's coming about halfway, but they're like, no, we're on the power play already. Don't need it. Oh, and now it's another penalty going up. It's four minutes to Whitby. So it's actually a five on three, Peterborough. They definitely don't need to pull the goalie. Ten seconds left. You don't have to wait here. You can shoot if you get a look that you like. Harris does, but nice play by Upshaw. Oh, and it goes far side to Jeffroy, who tucks it home. 
So that's why you don't mind shooting early in this situation. And Jeff Roy pulls Peterborough within 10-5. So they'll just let the 2.8 seconds tick off to finish the half. <laughs> That's pretty good for Burn and Coons to have that agreement when they were tussling earlier. So 17 seconds left on the 10-minute power play. A minute 57 on the next. It'll be 10-5 Whippy when we come back. And that's where we stand in this Arena Lacrosse League matchup. I'm Stephen Stamp. Thanks for being with us. Welcome back, lacrosse friends. It's second half action set to get underway. That is Brett Coons on the left of your screen taking the draw. That is Kyle McFadden's helmet. McFadden was scratched. Coons' helmet is, is still broken after he had the face mask ripped off by Travis DeBolt. So Coons will be wearing that, that Ottawa helmet. Here's Ty Thompson. Back to our attempt off the crossbar for Aaron Woods. Whippy breaking out, Rowan Kelly. So one penalty has expired. And we're down to a minute and a half left in the second half of Matt Marinier's double minor. Peterborough on the power play. It's 10 to 5. Whippy, I'm Stephen Stamp. This is the Arena Lacrosse League. Osborne. Late in the shot clock, just about found a hole. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Wasn't a pretty goal, but it's a goal. Osborne's shot goes wide of the net and then bounces off the back of Mar off the boards off the back of Marco Selleck and into the net. Coons and Ursu back at the dot. 11-5 Whippy leads, 14-11 to go in the third. <clears throat> Ty Thompson swoops in to grab that one. Vaughn Harris is waits up the waits up the floor. Harris back to Jeff Roy. Matthews had lost his stick in the middle. He got it back. That pass is knocked down by Byrne. Oh, so Harris shoots. Bounces off of Coot off the face of Mark Farthing. But he corrals it. Fakes a little pass to get Thompson to, to bite in that eight-second count as Farthing was winding his way to try and get across center. And Peterborough's got possession. Here's Jeff Roy. Options were not presenting themselves to Farthing. So Whippy gets the ball back. Farthing and Kelly low. Burn and Upshaw up high. Marinier, of course, a staple on Whippy's penalty kill usually. And Peter wanted a holding call, and they had a pretty good call. Bet. Oh, Aaron Woods. He would have about four goals this game if he wasn't stepping on the crease line. There's another one called back. Would have been a power play marker. Burn. Hands it off to McWilliams. Changes direction with Watson watching him. And the penalty will expire. We're back to five on five lacrosse. There's a drive to the net by McWilliams. He steps in the crease. Selleck made the stop anyway. And Peterborough's going to make a possession. Joe Hall hustling onto the floor. Behind the back pass to Thomas. Shoots five hole and Coot just got it. Wow, it looked like he caught the back half of that ball. Thomas with some pressure on the crease. The long pass ahead. The shot by C.J. Fleming right into the stick of Selleck. All kinds of battle after the ball, but it's an eight second count. And Peterborough will give it up. Whippy will get possession. Tyler Armstrong was gonna throw it up to C.J. Fleming. Thought better of it, places the ball down, and we'll get the changes, and Whippy back to the offensive set. Here's Osborne going underneath Lyman Be Beatty. Nice slide help by Armstrong. What a game he's having. Chapman, shovel pass, not going to get anywhere. Milligan will track it down. He turns it over, though. Now Zach Thompson going for a run. Here's a couple of good swats from Conley. He's now going to whack at Jeff, Jeff Roy, and he will get a penalty. Sounds like Whippy's concern is there were slashes going both ways. I thought Conley had taken two whacks at the first guy and then two at the next. I think he pretty much got a cumulative penalty there. And I'm not going to argue with the call itself, that's for sure. Another one coming to Whippy. 
Surprised Peterborough is not just getting a shot off here. We're going to pull for the extra attacker. There's Harris to the cunning Thomas. Scores! Skyler Thomas. Okay, good move. There. Now, okay, so it does wipe out the first of. Con of uh, so it wipes out the Cody. Or, sorry, the Curtis Conley slash. He's going to stay and serve the unsportsmanlike. And Marinier is going in. So it's five on three for a full two minutes. Peterborough getting all kinds of opportunities on the power play here. And Vaughn Harris's rip is stopped by Lucas Coop. Woods just missing that pass. He and Upshaw fight for it. Great effort by Woods to get it back and rolls it to Harris. Oh, and it gets away from him. It's going to be an over and back. And Whippy will get possession and the ability to kill about 30 seconds of this. Perfect weight as that ball just rolls right down and nestles up against the boards at the back of the rink. McWilliams changes direction. Double team coming. Francis takes. Oh, but Geddes loses containment, and McWilliams is able to get away. And again, <clears throat> Francis, perfect position. Now there's a penalty coming to Peterborough. Eight left on the shot clock. Francis will pick it up, and he's going to go for an illegal cross check. So that'll level things out. Oh, no, it was five on three, so I'll make it four on three for Whippy for minute nine. No, sorry, four and three for Peterborough for a minute nine. Osborne is having a pretty hot day. Starts with the ball. Bragg watching him. Milligan's down by the crease, and he's being tied up by Zach Thompson, who's locking, trying to lock him off. <laughs> Fernandez watched by Coons. Sorry, by Cam Crow. Here comes the double team on the slide by Armstrong. Loose ball push because the ball popped out. Very physical play by Armstrong. Just didn't see it. And you can hear Whippy wants to call a check from behind, which right along the boards, they have actually a pretty good case there. Fernandez over to Milligan. Osborne. Facing the double team. Trying to break through. Thompson does a pretty good job of keeping position. Six seconds. Five on the shot clock. Osborne gets through and gets a shot off. It's wide, so the 30 will expire on Whippy. Seven seconds remaining, and then Marinier and Conley will burst from the penalty box. So people are going to try and get a shot here. They've got a cutter, Matthews. Now comes out to Harris. Thompson down low to Thomas. Great ball movement. The save by Coot. Again, the stick and glove go flying. Well, just the glove. He's somehow still holding the stick. Here's Conley at the other end. That shot's way wide. Bounces right out to Sands. Whips it ahead to Thomas. 38 left in the Peterborough penalty now. Aaron Woods watched by Emery. Tries to get it up to Harris, it gets knocked back down. Spins off that check. Now he gets it to Harris, who tries to split the D. Nice defensive shift there by Farthing and Emery. Boy, Nathan Emery's growing on me as a young lacrosse player here in the last couple of weeks. Oh, and then he throws the ball right to Vaughn Harris. Harris will take his time, the penalty expires, and we're back to five on five with 8.42 to go in the third quarter. It's five goal lead for Whippy, 11 to six there up. Jeff Roy. Illegal pick on Joel Matthews, so Whippy will get possession. Corey Upshaw very calmly lobs it ahead to McWilliams, hot off the bench. Osborne. Hutchison just runs into space. Nobody picking him up, so he gets a shot off, but was a little wide with it. That's an over and back, and Peterborough will get possession. That's the kind of an awkward spot as 
McMahon just put the ball down right where he was, which was right in front of the bench door for Whippy. Peterborough player tried to go pick it up, and a Whippy player was trying to roll it out to him because it was in their exchange box. It all leads to a shot from Aaron Woods. That's going to go out of play. There's a penalty coming to Whippy, and I didn't quite see what the indication was. It's a bench minor. The, it was it had to do with the ball that was bouncing into the Whippy bench. Clinton Lewis is going to go serve it as the in home. I think it's an unsportsmanlike. Not sure to whom. Shane Withers has had enough, though. He told them he doesn't want not want to hear from them again. Harris, nice pass to Thompson. Ty Thompson behind the back. Good shot, but Coot was sharp. Thomas over to Von Harris. To Ty Thompson, back to Thomas. Nice backdoor pass to Harris. Oh, Coot though, stayed on. Oh, and another great save. Joel Matthews robbed again. And Mark Matthews, it was a lovely little underhand roll pass to get out of pressure. What a play by the veteran. Yeah, it's illegal pick called on Whippy. <laughs> Matt Marinier, a little over enthusiastic up in the offensive zone. Jeff Roy with the pick to Spring Thomas. Harris didn't like the lane for the give and go, so he hands it off. Minute 12 left on the power play. Hall at the top is it strong left Peterborough. Rips one. That was blocked. Goes straight to Matthews. His pass is tipped by Farthing. Jumping dunk attempt. Didn't get in, and Harris is going to have a crease violation. Farthing will run into some space. Runs into more space, and then passes ahead. <laughs> nice catch by Milligan. He has to fancy dance to step across a couple of uh, players. Uh, that's a crease violation. Mike Byrne just blew a wheel. And we're going to have our media timeout. It's 11 to 6. Not a lot of scoring in the second half, but a lot of excitement. We'll be back with more Arena Lacrosse League action. Peterborough starts with possession and 43 seconds left on the man advantage. Harris takes it from Hall down to Woods. Thompson and Thomas, the other pen, the other power play men. Marinier and Upshaw up top. Kelly and Emery? It is Nathan Emery down low. Kelly picks up the ball after the save by Coote. They'll be able to kill the rest of this penalty if Kelly can get over center. Tyler Thomas takes him down. Kelly falls but still hangs on to the ball. And then almost throw, he does throw it away, but he gets it back. Rowan Kelly, who was dynamite last week in Whippy's win. Going to hand it off here to McWilliams. McWilliams going hard to the net, loses the ball though. Carter Bedore comes away with it. Gets the pass off to Thompson on the run. Zach Thompson's going to set a pick. Ty Thompson's shot is turned aside by Coot. It's going to be Peterborough possession with a hard forecheck by Joel Matthews. Knocked it away from C.J. Fleming. Hall tries the toe drag. Conley, though, strips him. It's picked up by Mourinho. He's got Ogilvy on the far side. And Conley trailing. He'll shoot far side. I probably prefer the trailer pass on that one, but he got a decent chance on the far post. Hutchison goes hidden ball trick. Hutchison still has it, and they're pointing to him. Jeff Geddes was coming out to cover him. There's a pass through, doesn't connect. Armstrong with a big chop, then the push. Driving McMahon into the boards. You're gonna call a loose ball foul. And that's gonna be a delay game to Tyler Armstrong. He's saying he put it right down, but he grabbed a ball that was already loose and placed it down. That's gonna be a delay game to Tyler Armstrong. It's a shame because it's not a really smart play, but he's had a great game, Tyler Armstrong. Milligan will start with the ball at the top as Whippy goes to the power play. McWilliams and Osborne, the righties. Hutchison and Fernandez, the lefties. Like Zach Thompson, Parker stands up high. Coons down low along with Bragg. That's not going to be an over and back. It went off a Peterborough player, but there will be no reset. So Hutchison gets the ball, 15 left. Two minutes for the late game. Time of the penalty, 
Now the refs are going to get together. Shane Withers emphatically says it was not off a of Peterborough player. It was off a white jersey, off his shoulder, rolled over. It's going to be Peterborough possession. They'll try and go to penalty kill mode here. Jeff Roy watched by Fleming and Ursu. He almost turned it over, but Vaughn Harris reached in and grabbed that ball. Gets a shot. Nice save by Coot. Boy, Vaughn Harris is dangerous. He's going to have a little tangle there with Hamley. Then push it farthing. Harris staying up the floor, staying right by the whippy bench. But penalty coming now to Peterborough. Milligan loses the ball and play will be blown down. So Mitchell Jeffroy goes off for holding and Whippy will be five on three. Conley's gonna be the safety valve up top. So they go Fernandez and Hutchinson on the left side. This is Osborne with Milligan on the right. Back door, oh great play by Zach Thompson to knock the stick away, not let the pass get through. Sands gets the loose ball, he's going for a run. Tries to barrel through traffic. Oh, gets the pass across, it's a bit behind Zach Thompson. And Emery will grab it, runs out of trouble. Cross to Osborne. Good effort by Sands, but didn't quite connect on the pass. Another 42 seconds left on the five on three. Milligan. It's Fernandez from the top. That's why you have the safety outlet there. So Connolly passes it down again, and he's gonna have to come into play again, but that one's getting over the boards into the Peterborough bench. Timberman get the ball. 29 left on the first penalty. Which means Peterborough can't wait. Nice. Peterborough scores, they had four guys on the floor. Peterborough. I think gets away with one there as they had 19 seconds left in the five on three, had four guys on the floor as they get that goal to make it 11-7. Nice pull by Byrne to rip that one out of the faceoff dodge, picked up by Upshaw. Goal, by seven, Aaron so Aaron Woods finally gets one after a bunch that were called off for crease violations. Osborne misses the net on that shot. It bounces up out of play. Peterborough gets possession. Coons will start with it. We are five on four now. Thompson in a dangerous spot right at center, but withstands the checking of Ogilvy to get it to Matthews. He's going for a trot. Farthing and Fleming. Oh, and he splits the D, but there's Marinier coming. Good effort by Matthews, but eventually it's turned over. Marinier on the run. He's got Fernandez with him. Fernandez stopped by Selleck. Boy, Marco Selleck's really been sharp lately. Holding on, helping Peterborough to stay close, and they're climbing back in. Ladies Whippy. We've got 20 six, seconds left. Up for your on the power play. Hutchinson at the top is their strong left. Zero, Milligan, zero, skip pass. Zero, McMahon, backdoor pass. It just got away from Osborne. It's grabbed by Bragg. Milligan with the four check. He's going to get the ball back for Whippy. Terrific play by Milligan. And that will kill the rest of the time though. So Jeff Roy steps out. They send Coon or Crow back onto the floor. And he immediately tangles with McMahon. They triple team him and turn the ball over. Sands going for a run. Puts his head down, gets a shot off. What an effort by Parker oh. Sands. Is that a goal? No. They're saying Chapman was in the crease. I have to admit, I thought he was, but it was pretty close. That is a whole bunch of crease violations for Peterborough. Timberman honestly really probably getting the better of the flow of play here in the second half. We've got a minute 42 in the third quarter. McWilliams way wide with that shot. Oh, it comes straight back out to Ursu who gets a shot off. But Selick was ready. He's got to step out of the crease. He's directing one guy when a couple others are open. Now he makes that pass to Wasson who gives to Shane Francis. Ty Thompson waiting for the handoff. Francis is going to think about going to the net. Now he goes to Thompson. We are at even strength. 117 left in the quarter. Joe Hall, far side. One hand catch by Harris. Made it look so easy. Von Harris makes a lot of things look easy that really aren't. Nice pick up there in the crease. Oh, jump shot coming up with it. Looks for the penalty. It's coming. Kelly goes to the net. Passes Fernandez just wide. 
Whippy's going to get it back, or are they? McWilliams can't pick it up. Oh, and play's blown down before possession is achieved. So Aaron Woods, shortly after scoring a goal, is going to take a slashing penalty on the trail check. Whippy's back to the power play. Fernandez back to Milligan. Coons and Armstrong low. Sands and Thompson up high for Peterborough on the penalty kill. Milligan's pass is tipped, but Fernandez tracks it down. Hutchinson's there to help and grabs the loose ball. Osborne and McWilliams on the near side. Oh, Cam Milligan. What a sidearm rip. Bullet to the far top corner. Chapman, watched by Emery. They gotta get that ball over center. He shovels it ahead. Bedour couldn't see where it was coming though. And it's grabbed by Upshaw. He's under pressure and just lobs one over to Burn. That shot turned aside. Whippy's gonna get it back. Those Upshaw picks it up. Tried to force one through to get a shot off for the end of the quarter. Didn't work out. And we will go to the intermission with the score 12-7 for Whippy, I'm Stephen Stamp, this is the Arena Lacrosse League. We'll be back with the fourth quarter. All right, we're underway. Fourth quarter action, it's 11, 12 to seven that is, for Whippy Steelhawks over the Peterborough Timberman here at the Millbrook Community Center. Hutchinson steps across center, gets to burn, still in some peril, but he fights off the check. Great job to get away from Wasson, and Whippy sets up in the offensive zone. I'm Steven Stamp, this is Arena Lacrosse League action. Fernandez rips one, that's a little bit wide. It's an over and back. Fernandez hustling back so there'll be no breakaway opportunity for Sands. Pretty heads up play. Now, is he stuck on D or is he gonna be able to get to the bench? He's at the far end, so he's just gonna stay for a D shift. He's out there with Far Farthing, Olgovy, Hamley, and Ursu. Hall up to Matthews. Harris. Cody Hamley, nice job staying with Harris. Now he's picked by Matthews, but they switch. Hard shot. Stopped by Coot, and then he's going to wind up with the rebound. And Farthing's already up the floor. He's got a man coming off the bench. Cam Milligan gets it to him. And that's just too easy. Heads up play by Mark Farthing. Didn't give away the fact that he had Milligan coming off the bench until he's about to pass it to him. And Milligan alone on any goalie is not a fair matchup. Coons and Ursu set to do battle again as we're a minute one into the fourth quarter. Chapman zips in and scoops up that loose ball. He's watched by Upshaw. It's Harris. Nice save by Coot. That was actually right in the middle of the belly pad. Harris, great shooting position. But he just didn't get that one where he wanted to. Emery. Watched by Bedouris. So we'll run off. He's waiting to try and get it to somebody. Now he does and heads to the bench. Greer's feet to Hudson didn't connect. Milligan has the ball. Greer driving to the net, shoots, bouncer into the chest. And Selleck makes a bit of an adventure for Cam Crow coming off the, along the boards. Hudson checking him. No problem for them with Hudson getting caught back on Diaz at work because he's played plenty of defense transition in this league. Now he's up the floor looking for the ball. They get it to him. Breakaway Hutchinson. Oh, misses though. Tried the bouncer going for the top corner on the far side. Got a little too early, out too high on the turf, and it bounces out of play. 13 7, Whippy leads. We're two minutes into the fourth. Harris gets a pick. There's the roll. Woods. That's another crease violation. No question about that one. <laughs> Mitch Ogilvy literally went in and grabbed that ball out of Coot's gear to put it in his stick so he could take off up to the floor. Love that play. Hamley. McWilliams hands it off to Milligan. McMahon cuts, the pass is there, he can't quite catch it. Hands it off to Fernandez, he can't catch it. A little hot potato here for Whippy, that shift. Cross to McMahon, six on the shot clock, they score! McWilliams, the quick stick on the back door, and somehow it sneaks through Selleck, who's been pretty sharp, but. Wants that one back. 
Coons and Byrne, we're back to the opening draw team. Coons looks up, it rolls out, grabbed by Kelly. It's a three on O with some trailers. Osborne off the post. Up out of play, whippy possession. Osborne's gonna stroll around to the far corner and get the ball as the Steelhawks set up on O. Fernandez, big pick by Hutchinson on Matthews. Coons comes away with it. He's a sniper now, but he's going to hand it off to Thompson. Back up to Matthews. Peter Rowe taking their time setting up. CJ Fleming with the high defense, putting some pressure on. Over to Jeff Roy. Jeff Roy gets the shot off after taking a bit of a stick on the top of the head. Coot looked up the floor, nobody was there, so they make the short pass instead. Fleming leaves it for McMahon. Off to McWilliams. Sidearm shot way wide, but it goes straight to Todd Greer. Wasson backs him up. Here's McWilliams. McMahon tries to feed it through. Osborne was all tied up by Geddes. That's going to roll into the crease and eventually be a crease violation on McWilliams. Oh, picked off. And here goes Emery. He's got two men off the bench. It's Milligan on the run. Nice save. Selleck. Little chicken wing. He just hangs onto it. Hands it off to Joe Wasson. Lyman Beatty. One hand pass from Hall down to Thomas. Ty Thompson gets a hard one on net, even though he was stick checked. Coot made the stop. Oh, and Coot picks off that pass. Hamley comes away with it, runs through traffic. The four check caused the errant pass. They're going to have a tough time making the eight second count, but they do. Here's Upshaw. He's got Milligan off the bench. No look pass to Kelly. Fooled Kelly. Justin Bragg over to Thompson. Aaron Woods, watched by Mike Byrne. Harris, fake slow, goes high. The save by Coot. Coot's been sharp. Peterborough's generated some chances. This game feels a lot closer than the score of 14 to seven. Remember, it was six to nothing for Whippy right out of the gate. So since that point, eight to six, eight to seven, very close scoring game. Coot grabs it. Lobs one ahead to Farthing. He had trouble getting it, but he turns and catches it. Slows down, shoots, and is blocked. <laughs> Low one hopper over to Osborne. Farthing heads to the bench. Out comes Fernandez with the ball. Milligan has some space. Rips one. That got blocked out front. Osborne back door to Fernandez. He couldn't catch it. Shot clock expires. Peterborough gets possession. Crow on the run. He's got Thomas off the bench. Has to shoot almost. He hits the post. Great job by Zach Ursu to take away the lane on that two on one. Ogilvy was coming to help too, and CJ Fleming steps over center. This is Nathan Emery. Watched by Bedour. Emery gives it to Fernandez. That pass didn't quite connect. Good defensive play. And there's the outlet to Lyman Beatty. What a play by Greg Riley to get that ball ahead. Fernandez waiting for the rest of the offense to get out for Whippy. That's Osborne trying to duck underneath. Armstrong's going to take a hold. Not much question about that one. And honestly, something a lot more people probably should have done than Liam Osborne because he is deadly when he gets underneath. Once he beats you with that first step, you're in trouble. Armstrong going to the box. It'll be a power play of two minutes or less for, for Whippy. Whippy will go strong right with Milligan on the top. Osborne and McWilliams on the far side. Fernandez Hutchinson on the near side. Coons and Bragg low for Peterborough. High are Sands and Hutchinson. 
That's is that Zach Thompson? It is Zach Thompson. It makes sense. Fernandez, his shot was blocked by Coons. Goes back to him in the save by Selleck. Rolls straight to Hutchison. Fresh 30 for Whippy. Behind the back pass. Reaches McWilliams. Hutchison shoots near side. That's coming straight to us. Came in right for the camera on that rebound off of Marco Selleck's foot. Osborne up to Milligan. Opens up in the middle, he scores! Off the post and may have bounced off Selleck. You can hear the ping off the post. Power play goal is 15 to seven, Whippy. And we got a winner. Congratulations, ladies. Please Whippy with the possession off the face off. We're into the final half of the fourth quarter here. From the Millbrook Community Center, I'm Stephen Stamp. This is Arena Lacrosse League action. Osborne's hard shot goes wide. Gets over and back in a hurry. And that will be the media timeout. We'll be back with the final stretch run. I'm Stephen Stamp. This is the Arena Lacrosse League. Peterborough's pulled the goalie to go six on five off the restart. Joe Hall passes off custom Militai Thompson. A lot of traffic in front. Oh, Vaughn Harris trying the sweep shot and he just missed the pass. Whippy's going to get it. Troy Benedict is racing in to the, goal, the pipe, between the pipes. Coot with a save as Peterborough got it back and they get it back again. Vaughn Harris scooping up that loose ball. Goalies back in the net. We're back up five on five. Harris. Watched by Upshaw who hands him off. What's <laughs> getting a pretty good clamp on Upshaw's stick. Sweep shot by Thompson is blocked. Clinton Lewis is not looking too comfortable after taking that one on the instep, I think. Coot with a short pass. Farthing has it tipped. Emery kind of waits on it and runs into Wasson. And it's going to be a turnover. Great job by Wasson. Emery had to go to meet that ball. Matthews withstands a bit of a two-hand grab by Hutchinson. He's double teamed. Wasson going in to dig for the ball. Fernandez will come away with it. Gets it ahead to Hutchison. They've got Milligan off the bench. Takes the bouncer pass. He was looking for the give and go to Hutchison, but they took that away. So Milligan will just slow it down and set up the offense. It's 15 7. Whippy leading. 5.43 to play. Picked off. And Lyman Beatty has Joel Matthews with him. And just kind of peters off into the corner where he's picked up by Rowan Kelly. And then throws the pass across. It's picked off by Mark Farthing. Farthing gets it ahead to McMahon. Low pass. McMahon has to fight for it. Comes up with it. <laughs> Milligan finds Osborne. Illegal pick on McWilliams. Francis on the run. Man off the bench is Thomas. Great change by Peterborough. Oh, but the stop by Coot. Just gets the hand on it. Through the crease on Thomas. They're going to give up the ball. And that's delay a game. 100%. You can't check the guy before plays be even blown in or right as it's blown in. So Peterborough's going to give up the ball and another power play to the Whippy Steelhawks. Pass to Hutchison. McWilliams. Whippy moving away from the net. And they're going to set up power play. Milligan at the top. Osborne. Rips an overhand. Stopped by Benedict. Gets away into the corner. Oh, McWilliams rammed into the boards by Armstrong. Armstrong trying to battle through. And he does get through the double team and passes it ahead to Zach Thompson. Oh, nice save by Coot on the beautiful pass to Bragg. And a pretty good shot. But Coot is equal to the task. Hutchinson on the run. Thompson checks him. Hutchinson just spins off it. They hit the cutting Milligan. He misses the, oh no, it did touch the goaltender, so a fresh 30 for Whitby. Fernandez up to McMahon. Skip pass, back door, William, McWilliams, crease violation. He stepped on the line, 
And Peterborough's going to get the ball. There's still a minute on the power play. Coons lobs it ahead to Thompson. They tried to hit the cutter, but it got away from Harris. Outlet pass to Fleming. Milligan, again, the first man off the bench in this righty quarter. Up to McWilliams, fifth attacker just coming out for the power play. It's Greer cutting through the middle of the back door on the left side. That pass is tipped. Milligan gets it. Can't get the pass through to Fernandez, though. Benedict drops the ball into his stick. Looking for the outlet pass. Oh, I'm not sure if he was going for Carter Badur or Joe Hall zipping in off the bench. Either way, it was a bit too far. And Coot gets it. Here's Marinier to Hutchison. McMahon shoots. Save by Selleck. I think Cody McMahon just kind of wants to get his stroke back. He's been out for a while. Was scoring a very solid pace for Whippy early in the season. Harris. They wait for Skylar Thomas to get out. He's going to go to the bench. And Peterborough is back at five on five. Harris and Matthews trying to rack work the two-man game. Good defense, but a nice shot by Harris. Boy, Von Harris just so skilled. He can find shooting lanes when you just don't think there are any. That one's going to go wide off the stick of Thompson. It'll be an over and back. 2.46 to play. It's 15-7 Whitby. Fernandez. The pick for McMahon almost opened it up. Fernandez takes the shot, it goes out of play. Whippy gets it, or Peterborough gets it. And Joe Wasson runs into the offensive zone. Watched by Ursu. It's the cutting Thomas. Hard rip, but again, Coot with the save. Sidearm shot by Thompson. Another great save by Coot. Tell you, Peterborough could be right in this if Coot wasn't very sharp. Thomas spins away from the check from Byrne. Gets clear, passes it down low. Jeff Roy jumping attempt, stopped by Coot. Straight back to the Timberman, Vaughn Harris got, or sorry, it was Woods getting the ball. Here's Thompson, shoots, that one's wide. Oh, Hall thought he had, he was going to the net, couldn't get it. Matthews lays a big hit on, loses his stick in the process. Whippy coming the other way, Ursu on the run. Tries the dunk shot, it's in. A little jump shot. Now, did that get in before, did it cross the line before he landed in the crease? Uh, yeah, it's been called a goal. So it's 16 to seven, Whippy. Mark Farthing out to take a face off here against Coons. <laughs> and the Whippy captain does many things very well. It doesn't look like facing off is one of them. He's gonna battle for the ball though. Coons will pick it up. Whips it up top to Sands. Matthews with the shot, stopped by Coot. Long pass, Whippy trying to get it up the floor and Rowan Kelly, oh, he got in position, but missed it, it's gonna be Peterborough possession as it goes back over. Thomas down in the corner, watched by Kelly. Thinking about the dunk attempt. Shovels it to Hall. Spins towards the net. Farthing shoves him aside. Big swat by Conley. He and Matthews, or Ogilvy, sorry. He and Matthews having a chat. So 101 to play. And yeah, it's both sides. Matthews and Ogilvy both go. So we'll stay five on five for this final minute. Nice behind the back pass to Thompson. Another save by Coot. Fleming covering Thompson, who tries to shovel it to Harris, gets away. Pass ahead is knocked down. Woods will track this down. 44 to go. Thomas gives it to Thompson. Woods looking for a cutter. Gets away from Jeff Roy. Skyler Thomas grabs it. They've got 14 to shoot. Backdoor attempt. Woods can't catch it. Thompson takes a stab at it, but it's grabbed by Corey Upshaw. He'll jog across center. 19 left on the game clock, so Whippy doesn't have to shoot again. They can just kill these final seconds. Five seconds. The final score will be Whippy 16, Peterborough 7. That moves the Steelhawks to 9-2.
Peterborough Falls to five and five. I am Steven Stamp. This has been Arena Lacrosse League action here at Millbrook Community Center. Thanks for being with us. You can catch all the Arena Lacrosse League games on the JVI Sports Network YouTube channel or on the Arena Lacrosse League website, arenalacrosseleague.ca.